Now you should see me, let's get some water, put my uh, ironing rack, not ironing rack, dry rack in the back, so I'm going to do a wash soon, and I'm just excited to get clothes to get dry. Really easy, because of the heat. So, let's get some questions, and then again, if you have any more questions, just get them below in the comments, or just send me a message and I'll answer them. And maybe you know, if it's a really good question, I'll maybe do another video, and I'll credit you if you want. So the first question is, are machines better than free weights? And I'll talk about this question. I'm going to talk about my experiencing with different machines and free weights and how I got confident with both. So, wow, where did I start? Firstly, to start that question, they're both exactly the same. There's no better exercise, there's no, um, there's better machines than other machines, that's one factor. But free weights, they're kind of the same weights. Of course, you get different designs, but it's the same weight. But with the machines, there are better machines than other machines because of the posture of the uh, machine, with your positioning uh, of your body. Uh, there are better machines. The truth is, the higher price uh, machines are going to be better for you, but you can still progress. It's about those top percentage, that 1% difference, but anyone can progress with most machines. It's just going to make sure that you're working the right muscle. Um, but I used to start, I started with a lot of free weights um, because it just happened. I didn't really use machines. I thought free weights better. I thought, oh, free weights are so much better than machines because you're more controlled and so on. I'm happy I did that because my form really improved. I was able to fill the muscles a bit more, especially especially starting up and I'm thinking, ooh, chest, dumbbell, dumbbell bench press or uh, barbell bench press. I'm feeling it. Where the chest press, I'm like, boom, boom, boom. My form wasn't good. So I'm happy I started with the free weights. However, now I'm seeing machines more effective myself because I want to lift heavier, I want to lift a failure, and with machines I'm able to do that, such as a hat squat. I'm able to lift heavier and better, not better, in a hat squat, in a back squat, um, and I'm able to progress. Now, I, would, I can't, I haven't really measured my, I don't really measure my legs, I'm not really too fussed about measuring my legs, but I would say I've got a lot stronger by using the hat squat than a back squat. But I really enjoyed free weights and the, the, the back squat. But both were really, really good. I would say if I was you, try both. There's no better, there's no like, you must try this. Incorporate both. See what you enjoy. It doesn't matter what uh, someone else says. Whatever you enjoy is the right one. But incorporate both. Next question is, are there exercises that you can turn on your body without lifting weights? And here's the truth. Dramatic pause. Massive force. If you are genetically someone who can build muscle by doing a press up on your finger, then yes, you can do any body weight exercise and you'll gain some muscle. But for me, and for 99% of people, that's not genetically possible. You can, at the very beginning, you can build some sort of muscle by doing body weights, um, like uh, squats and chest press. These are great exercises, uh, not just press, like um, a press up. These are great exercises, 100% is great exercises, but they're not going to be the reason why your muscles grow as much. The reason why people sometimes look more muscular when they're doing this stuff is because they're probably cutting. It's the nutrition, they're, they're losing body fat percentage, and these muscles are popping more. Now, if that person did uh, strength training with uh, weights and machines, probably that muscle would look even more bigger. So the reality is, the most effective way to gain more tone, which means strength in muscles, is by strength training. Now, yes, it's a great selling point to someone say body weight exercise which tones, but the reality is that person strength train and they're literally just doing the tone, uh, they're doing the body weight exercises to get your views. But that person, if they had ten clients and you asked them, okay, I want to make the most effective way to uh, to tone to get strengthened to get stronger, to get more muscle, they will recommend strength training. They wouldn't even recommend their own videos. Harsh truth, but here's what you need. Become more confident with strength training. I don't care even if it's two, three kilogram weights in your room. Amazing. Progress, confidence, confidence. Over time, you're gonna to want to lift a bit heavier. You've gotta start somewhere. But even starting with body weight is unbelievable. Eventually you go to weights. How often should you change your, how often should you change your workout? The reason why I did it like that on YouTube because I'm probably going to shorten this to YouTube, um, to Instagram, and to um, TikTok. The reality is too many people change their workout way too quickly. 
And what I mean by this is, I'll do a workout a plan for two weeks, and I'll be like, I'm bored, this no meaning, no um, progression, I need to change it up. And that is the worst thing you can do. Because, yes, for consistency, and you want to change it up so you can stay consistent with the gym, but actually for effectivity, effectivity uh, effectiveness, following your training program, progressing over time, getting sometimes bored of this exercise because it's a bit tedious, is the best way that you can progress, it's the best way that you can strengthen, it's the best way that you can monitor progress because one week you're lifting 10 kg and week six lifting 30 kg. If you start after two weeks, try no exercise, how are you see that progression? You're only going to see so much small progression when you stay consistent over a period of time, you're going to um, increase it. And the reality is, are you willing to be spend be a bit more tedious with your workouts, repeating the same thing again and again, yet the goal should be clear and that may be actually do you have a clear goal. Because sometimes the workouts you want to change up the workouts all the time, maybe you don't have a clear goal in mind. When you actually understand that if you want to progress, if you want to lift heavier, if you want to get more stronger, you're going to need to follow the same program. So if that isn't the case, really think about the why and try and think about the why and come to actually re realise that oh, that might be really important for me to get consistent. And that's really good because you shouldn't always be motivated to work out. Why should you? No one is motivated to work out all the time. Because when people are always motivated to work out, they're probably motivated for two weeks and they don't work out for six months. Again, why would someone do that? You should be looking for age thing consistency. Some workouts are unbelievable. Some workouts, meh, yeah. I've got something done, I feel good. Some workouts are unbelievable. That workout, meh, yeah. again and again. But look, you've been so consistent, and that's what you should look for. And lastly, um, if you are a beginner at the gym, what would you recommend? If you are a complete beginner, and going to that weight section is literally keep you up at night and you're petrified, I would recommend going and going to the back of the gym, where no one's in one. If it's, a, if it's a room, if it's somewhere quiet where it's just you, if you're able to have that or the gym got busy, find somewhere quiet, find a few exercises, and you can start really, really light. The lightest dumbbells, there should be no squat racks, some, there should be no weight rack somewhere else in the gym. Pick the lightest. And the first time, you're probably not going to be that good at the exercise. No one's good at the first thing. Were you good trying car for the first time? Were you good when you picked up a new mass formula to learn? You're probably terrible. Same with weights. You start really, really light. You progress. You progress your form. You progress with this exercise. Soon that exercise is going to become boring, ready to move on, and you even move on by progressing the weight, which gets more exciting, more challenging, or there's an exercise, there's a machine that you want to really want to try. You're inspired by someone else who you admire what they do. You know, you know what, I really want to try that uh, hack squats. I really want to try that leg extension. And that's when you start. But the hardest part is going to that first part. Stop worrying about the thing five uh, months down the line. Focus on getting to the gym, going and find your own space, progressing, try some cardio machines, keep going consistently. Eventually, naturally, you're going to be ready to say, you know what, I want to try that leg extension. Nervous. You go, you smashed it. That's what you do. Anyway, I want to make sure that I'm not um, over the time limit here. I'm fine. And that's, there were, four, there were a few more questions, but I kind of like some of them were like, honestly exactly the same. So I kind of like uh, um, categorise them. But that is a gym conference. Now, there are a lot of things I haven't mentioned here, but if you have any more questions, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to you. It's probably a lot louder than I thought. I look forward for you to listen to me in the next video. So we'll see you soon.